Are you pouring liquid gold into your engine or just expensive marketing? After analyzing over 3,000 oil-related engine failures in my shop, I can tell you that 70% of drivers are choosing their oil based on price or brand loyalty, not actual protection. Today, we're cutting through the hype with real laboratory data that compares five major engine oils, Amsoil, Mobile One, Pennzoil, Valvoline, and Castrol. I'm showing you the test results manufacturers don't advertise and revealing which oil actually delivers on its promises. Let's break down the science. First, let's talk about wear protection because this is where your engine lives or dies. The industry standard test is called the four ball wear test and it's brutal. They take four steel balls, apply extreme pressure and measure the wear scar after one hour of friction. Smaller scar means better protection. According to independent lab testing commissioned by various manufacturers, Amsoil Signature Series consistently records where scars around 0.35 millimeters. Mobile One Extended Performance typically measures around 0.44 millimeters. Pennzoil Ultra Platinum, Valvoline Advanced, and Castrol Edge all fall somewhere between 0.4 and 0.46 millimeters. Now here's what matters. The industry standard allows up to 0.54 millimeters, so all five of these oils pass. But that difference between 0.35 and 0.44 represents a real margin of protection when your engine is under extreme stress, like towing or frequent city driving with constant stop and go. However, and this is critical, when we look at real-world used oil analysis reports from Blackstone Laboratories, thousands of samples show that iron, copper, and lead wear metals remain remarkably similar across all five brands when changed at normal intervals of 7,000 to 10,000 miles. Translation, in normal driving, they all protect your engine adequately. The premium you pay for Amsoil's superior test numbers only matters if you're pushing extended drain intervals beyond 12,000 miles or operating under severe conditions. Second, cold start protection, and this one gets overlooked until winter hits. When your engine sits overnight in freezing temperatures, oil thickens. The cold cranking simulator test measures how easily oil flows at minus 30 degrees Celsius. Lower numbers mean faster flow and immediate protection. Amsoil typically scores around 3,700 centipoise in independent testing, nearly 40% better than the legal limit of 6,600. Pennzoil Ultra Platinum, because it's made from natural gas instead of crude oil, scores around 3,900. Mobile One sits near 4,200. Valvoline and Castrol Edge tend to measure closer to 5,000 to 6,500, still within spec but requiring more effort from your starter motor. Here's the reality check. If you live in Minnesota or Canada and regularly start your car at minus 20 degrees, that difference matters. Your battery and starter will thank you for choosing a lower viscosity oil. But if you're in Texas or California where it rarely drops below freezing, you're paying for protection you'll never use. The investigative angle here is the pour point test, the temperature where oil stops flowing entirely. Pennzoil hits minus 48 degrees Celsius due to its gas to liquid technology. Mobile One reaches minus 45. Amsoil achieves minus 47. Valvoline typically stops flowing around minus 39. For 90% of drivers, these differences are academic. Your engine block heater or garage parking negates the advantage. But for commercial drivers in extreme climates, that's the difference between starting your engine and calling a tow truck. Third, high temperature stability because heat is what kills oil. The NOAC volatility test measures how much oil evaporates at 250 degrees Celsius. High evaporation means oil consumption and a thicker, sludgier fluid left behind. According to Manufacturer Commissioned Independent Testing, Amsoil scores around 6.7% evaporation. Pennzoil hits 7 to 8%. Mobile One measures near 8.8%. Valvoline and Castrol both sit around 9 to 10%. The industry limit is 15%, so again, all pass. But here's where it gets interesting. Turbocharged engines run significantly hotter, especially in the turbo bearings. The TOST test simulates a turbo shaft heated to 480 degrees Celsius and measures baked on deposits in milligrams. Lower is better because deposits lead to turbo failure, which is a $3,000 repair minimum. Valvoline scores impressively here, around seven to eight milligrams in third-party tests. Castrol Edge with its fluid titanium technology stays under 10 milligrams. Amsoil and Pennzoil consistently benchmark below six milligrams. Mobile One typically measures around 9 milligrams. If you drive a turbocharged vehicle, these numbers aren't marketing fluff, they're predictors of your turbo's lifespan. I've torn down turbos that failed prematurely, and the common thread was always cheaper conventional oil or synthetic blends that couldn't handle sustained heat. But even among these premium synthetics, 
Real-world UOA data shows that as long as you change oil at recommended intervals, all five manage heat-related deposits adequately. The advantage of AMSOIL and PENZOIL only appears when you start pushing 15,000 mile drain intervals, which most manufacturers don't recommend anyway unless specified in your owner's manual. Fourth, chemical longevity because fresh oil and 10,000 mile old oil are completely different fluids. Total base number, or TBN, measures an oil's ability to neutralize acids that form from combustion. Higher TBN means more reserve capacity. AMSOIL starts with a TBN of 12.5, backing their claim of 25,000 mile capability. Penzoil begins around 11.2. Mobile One starts at 10.1. Valvoline and Castrol typically measure between 8.8 .8 and 9.0. Now here's what the lab data doesn't tell you. According to hundreds of used oil analysis reports, Mobile One depletes its TBN more slowly per thousand miles than competitors that start higher. By 7,000 miles, the gap has narrowed significantly. Valvoline and Castrol, despite lower starting TBN, maintain enough alkalinity reserved to protect through standard drain intervals. The investigative conclusion here is that high starting TBN only matters if you plan to exceed 10,000 miles between changes. For the average driver changing oil every 7,000 miles, you're wasting money on that extra chemical buffer. Your oil will time out from oxidation and contamination before it runs out of acid-fighting capacity. I've analyzed hundreds of oil samples where drivers paid premium prices for high TBN oil but changed it at 5,000 miles anyway. That's like buying a smartphone with a battery that lasts five days but charging it every night. You're not using what you paid for. Fifth, fuel efficiency. And this is where molecular engineering makes a measurable difference. The Sequence 6 fuel economy test is the gold standard measuring MPG improvement against reference oil. Penzoil Ultra Platinum consistently outperforms competitors here, with independent studies showing 1.5 to 2% fuel economy gains. That's because its gas-to-liquid base stock has uniform molecular structure with less internal friction. At $4 per gallon and 15,000 miles per year, that 2% translates to roughly $40 to $60 annual savings. Over five years, you've recovered the premium cost of the oil. Mobile One follows closely with similar efficiency claims, and consumer road data confirms these gains hold deep into the drain interval. Valvoline, Castrol, and Amsoil all improve efficiency over conventional oil, but don't quite match Penzoil's molecular advantage in this specific metric. However, here's the counterpoint. Your driving habits affect fuel economy far more than oil choice. Aggressive acceleration, underinflated tires, or excessive idling will erase any efficiency gains from premium oil. If you're serious about fuel economy, address those factors first before paying extra for marginal improvements from synthetic oil. Now let's address what really matters. Which oil should you actually buy? If you drive a turbocharged vehicle, operate in extreme cold below minus 20 degrees regularly, or follow extended drain intervals beyond 12,000 miles as specified in your owner's manual, Amsoil Signature Series or Penzoil Ultra Platinum offer the highest margins of safety. Their lab numbers aren't just marketing, they represent real thermal and mechanical advantages. For these specific use cases, the premium price is justified by measurable protection. If you're a mainstream driver with a naturally aspirated engine, standard 7,000 to 10,000 mile drain intervals, and typical driving conditions, Mobile One Extended Performance or Valvoline Advanced Full Synthetic Deliver predictable, proven protection at a better value. Real-world used oil analysis from thousands of samples confirms these oils maintain their protective properties through standard service intervals without issue. Castrol Edge sits in the middle, offering unique fluid titanium technology that performs exceptionally well in high-pressure situations, making it ideal for performance vehicles or engines with variable valve timing that demand consistent oil pressure. The investigative truth is this. Modern synthetic oils have advanced so far that the gap between premium and mainstream has narrowed significantly. 20 years ago, oil choice made a dramatic difference in engine longevity. Today, any API-certified synthetic changed at proper intervals will protect your engine. The question isn't which oil prevents failure, but which oil optimizes your specific driving conditions and budget. Here's your action plan. Check your owner's manual for the recommended oil specification and drain interval. If it calls for 5W30 synthetic, any of these five oils meet that requirement. Next, consider your driving conditions honestly. Do you actually drive in minus 30 degree weather? Do you tow heavy loads weekly? Does your manufacturer approve 15,000 mile intervals? If yes to any of these, the premium oils justify their cost. If no, you're paying for protection you don't need. 
Finally, regardless of which oil you choose, the most important decision is changing it on schedule. I've seen engines with 50,000 miles fail on premium synthetic because the owner extended intervals too far, and I've seen engines with 300,000 miles thrive on basic synthetic changed religiously every 7,000 miles. Consistency beats brand loyalty every time. So which oil have you been using, and has it actually performed as advertised? Drop a comment with your vehicle make, model, and mileage. I'll tell you if you're on the right track or throwing money away. If this breakdown just saved you from overpaying for features you don't need, hit that like button. Subscribe because next week I'm exposing the maintenance services your dealership pushes that are completely unnecessary, could save you $800 per visit. You definitely want to see that. Remember, this analysis is based on published laboratory testing, manufacturer specifications, and aggregated used oil analysis data from thousands of real-world samples. Individual results vary based on vehicle type, driving conditions, and maintenance history. Always follow your vehicle manufacturer specifications found in your owner's manual and consult qualified professionals for your specific situation. Now you've got the facts. Make the choice that actually protects your engine instead of just your mechanic's wallet.